Hello, I'm Arielle from Revival Acres Homeschool at revivalacres.com, and today we are talking about phrase arithmetic. <music> phrase arithmetic is over, well over 100 years old. Why am I using it today? That's a very good question. <laughs> I was using a very popular uh, Charlotte Mason inspired Christian math curriculum the last couple years and we actually really liked it. My children liked it. I didn't mind it as all, at all, but I did not like that it was spiral approach, which means you learn a concept, you go over it, then you might move on to a new concept. And then in a few weeks or days, you'll go back to that concept. So you're just continually building on in this spiral format. <clears throat> I don't mind that in some subjects. But with math, I personally feel mastery is better because you need to learn subtraction and addition before you move on to multiplication. And I feel like you really need to master certain concepts before you can move on. And I was beginning to see gaps in my eldest daughter's education when it came to math. And I felt like she needed more. So because of my love for the McGuffey's, which I just posted a video, so check that out. I'll put it up in the card up here. I thought, why not try the math that they used along with the McGuffey's? Stay in that era, why not? So I picked up Sight Unseen Ray's Arithmetic. I found it on eBay, the whole set um, used for like $40. So this will get my children through high school if I choose to use it. That's amazing. <laughs> you can buy them new, I believe, um, on Amazon for around <clears throat> $80 and Mott Media has picked up the copyright. So they're super affordable and you can access them no problem. So my eldest will be starting in this book. Now I wanted to see if there were any worksheets that go along with it. Now it comes if you choose to buy a parent-teacher um, <laughs> guide and this has like model worksheets in it if you choose to. But I wanted to see if I could find some. I'm not a busy work person, but worksheets in math are definitely useful. So I was looking around and I found out that Mott Media also created a workbook series that goes along with Ray's Arithmetic. So these are all the resources that you will need in order to teach math. You will need four of these for one whole year of math. And then you will need this book in order to use the series two and beyond workbooks. Now, the series one workbooks, you do not need the Ray's Arithmetic because it just covers basic math skills. I'll be using book two because that is what my daughter is in, but I wanted to show you book one so that you could see how it began. Some are bound differently. I'm not sure if there's, um, which one is newer, um, if they're binding differently, but this shows you what book one covers. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the inside. And you read these I can statements, which I think are really important. As an educator in school, you always learn to make objectives. And so I've always been uh, prone to making objectives to help me stay focused. And I really like these I can statements that they include in all of the lessons for every workbook. So this just gives you an idea of what workbook one covers. My K first grader is beyond this. So we're not starting there, but I wanted to give you that idea. She will be beginning in series one, book one, or book two. And I just wanted to show you, this goes up to looks like 70, which I think is really great. She can um, count up to 100, but this will be a great review. Every book also begins with what's required of the teacher and then what's required of the student as they get older. So just to give you an idea, this is where my daughter, uh, my almost six year old will be starting. Again, you do not need to raise arithmetic. All right, now my second, third grader is going to be using series two, workbook two, because this is just where she's at. You do need raise new primary arithmetic for this. And I wanted to just give you an idea of what this looks like on the inside. Same type of thing. Teacher, by this time, hopefully they can be more independent. So I ripped out the 
teacher's uh, test guide and test. And then this is her list of everything she needs to do. Of course, I can help her. So as you can see, I can statements at the top. And then at the bottom, you'll see complete activities one through six in lesson 24, page 27 of Ray's arithmetic. So after she's completed her page, we'll look at this together and we'll complete it together. And it's just basic word problem questions depending upon what she's learned that day. So you work through this afterwards as a great way to narrate and to master the skills. And it just gives you an idea. So one page a day is what I plan on doing, unless she wants to do more, then of course she can. But as you can see, it gives you about six problems a day, sometimes more depending upon the brevity of them. And then at the end of this book, it gets into multiplication. So she has not started multiplication. That's why I wanted her to start in this book. And I wanted her to continue mastering subtraction and addition because she hasn't quite mastered it. So that is series two, book two. Every booklet has a test in the middle that the teacher pulls out um, when you first get it. And I'll tuck this away and then she will complete it at the end just to make sure she's mastered the concepts. I really love that. And then there are also built-in reviews and quizzes at the end of every week. I'm not a huge fan of quizzes and tests necessarily, but in math, I think they're really important to make sure you've mastered the concept that you're learning so that you can move on. They're already in here, built-in, super simple, covering what you've learned that week. It's all in here. So uh, I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know how it goes. If there's anything you want to see uh, with either Ray's, McGuffey's, or any other type of curriculum that I'm choosing to use, let me know in the comments and or how you're using that vintage books in your homeschool. Like and subscribe and thank you so much.